All right, Shalom. Before I get started, I want to give all the glory and honor to you. How about Shemi Awashai by Shemra Kakwarash? All right. I want to give double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and safety to all the sincere Akiyam as I have pushing this word in truth and in all sincerity. Shalom. All right. I want to do this. Uh, I just did a lesson. I'm going to do this one real quick. <coughs> and, you know, I understand why the Lord said that. The, the, the harlots and the publicans and sinners shall enter into the kingdom of heaven before you wicked scribes and Pharisees, man. And I see it, man. I see it through the spirit, man. And I and I and I and I and, I, and I'm glad it's that way, man, because you know a lot of us a lot of us we we we're in Babylon, man. You know what I mean? Like we're in Babylon, everybody's walk's not the same. Everybody's walk is not going to have them deal with upstanding citizens that are, you know, regular. You know, like I said, I, I mean, maybe maybe your life is set up that way. But I'll speak from my own experience is in my day to day walk in Atlanta, whether it just be going to my grocery store, or my gas station or just people that I just know. It's a lot of it's a lot of it's a lot of, of, of Israelites. That are that are straight up and down street niggas, man. All right, whether it's doing illegal activities, just however, you know what I'm saying, just out here. But you, but when you, but you know what, you could tell in the spirit that there's something more to this person. That this person may be a decent individual just because their 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 circumstances have them doing certain things. That's why the Lord did what He did with uh, with Mary Magdalene, right? They were trying to. You know, stone her and tell her that she, you know and he was like, well, he who who he you know basically he who um, is without sin cast the first stone, and he cut him. Understand what I'm saying? But the, but but the point of me bringing this up is the fact that you got a lot of people that are that don't know they're Israelites, that are just out here living a life, and they sin, they go off, they probably getting ready to celebrate Christmas, they probably just got finished celebrating Thanksgiving. And, I'm a, and, and through the spirit, a lot of these individuals have better spirits on them than a lot of people that know that they're Israelites, man. It's people out here in the world that are, that are, that are straight up and down criminals. But their, the intent of their heart is more pure than you niggas that know that you're Israelites, man. You know how fucked up that's gotta, that is? But I get it. I get it. All right? Especially those of the circumcision, man. You see these guys. It's it's, but from the from Old Testament, the New Testament. Some of the I, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Some of the greatest spirits I've ever met in my life, and I'm thank the Lord to be able to meet these spirits. Were right here in the truth. Some of the greatest men I've ever met in my life, and probably will ever meet in my life, were right here in this truth. And you want to know some of the worst people I've ever met in my life? We're right here in this truth. I've met some of the worst niggas in my life. Are from being men that know they're Israelites. Will salute you. Carry, know the name of Yahweh, why Yahweh is shy. You know? But are, 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 are terrible, terrible people. Shysty. Liars. Conniving. Arrogant, proud. That's why the Lord is going to save these these Jake out here that are just just struggling and just trying to do the right thing. That's why Paul made it known to those that were just serving the Lord in, in ignorance and didn't know the name of the Lord. That's why those examples is in the scriptures, man. A lot of you people, man, and and I'm I mean, and, and the Lord willingly is not me, man. I pray, I pray, I'm doing everything right. This is not a pointing finger thing. I pray I'm doing the right thing in the spirit. But I'm just saying a, a lot of these other groups, a lot of these camps, y'all are y'all are the worst types of people, man. You're just terrible. Like I I really I really can't stand Israel. I don't like Israel. That's why I just, Romans 9. The Lord told us in Romans 9, Romans the ninth chapter. That don't think just because you 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 are of the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that you're good. I'm telling you, this that there's a major difference between the Israel of the spirit and the Israel of the flesh. 
I hate Israel of the flesh, especially those that know they're Israelites. If you're not in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you're the worst type of Israelite and the worst type of person there is, man. That's why a lot of you, a lot of these individuals in the world, man, these, a lot of these individuals, a lot of these men that are out here that are big homosexuals, a lot of these women that are big prostitutes and harlots, a lot of these individuals out here that are drug dealers and drug users are going to be saved right before you niggas that have been knowing that you were Israelite the last five to ten years. Going out to the highways and byways, putting on garments and fancy cosplay because you're full of shit. And you've led a lot of people astray when you had the opportunity to tell the right thing, to humble down. You decided to do the other. I just want to put that out there. Like I say, the Lord, I, I get it, man. It's a lot of it's a, a lot of crappy individuals in Israel, man. And the Lord's going to start removing you and bringing in these people, the, the right individuals, man. All right. So with that, shalom.